Hello and welcome. This video presents a simplified version of a seated yoga system for the elderly and for people with restricted mobility. If you haven't already, please watch the introduction video, as this contains important information and explains the system in more detail. The session is suitable for anybody to do. However, if you have a heart condition, breathing restrictions, or are taking medication, please consult your medical practitioner before starting the session. It is important to do only as much as you feel comfortable doing. There may be entire sections you feel unable to do at the moment, and that's perfectly normal. With practice on the bits you can do, your body will open and grow into the bits you may find challenging now. Learning to work with your body is like learning anything. Time and repetition ultimately reward you. Before we are ready to start, you will need a chair, preferably without arms, and at the right height for your feet to be flat on the floor. A dining style chair is best, otherwise a level surface to sit on. If your feet don't quite reach the floor, you can put them on another surface, like books. You'll need loose-fitting, comfortable clothes that will allow free movement. Water at hand. And open windows for fresh air, weather permitting. We will start by sitting comfortably and upright on your chair, with your legs parallel, your knees above your heels and your shoulders above your hips. Most of the sequences start and finish like this, so I will refer to this as the parallel position throughout the video. For clear visual demonstration purposes, I am using this flat surface table. Leaving space behind you and the back of your chair will allow your body and lungs to work more fluidly and freely. However, if this is uncomfortable, simply rest into the back of your chair. By practicing the sequences more often, your core muscles will strengthen and you may find that you're able to sit away from the chair in future. Now our muscles need oxygen to both function and relax. So we will start by opening up your lungs with a couple of simple breathing exercises to increase your oxygen capacity. Sitting up as straight as you can with your hands resting upwards on your thighs. We will breathe through your mouth and extend your tummy forwards and then retract it when we exhale like this. And ready to start in four, three, two, one. Inhale forwards, exhale back. Push out the tummy button and pull it back. Inhale forwards through your mouth, exhale back. Inhale, exhale, and just one more. Inhale forwards, exhale back, and relax. Good. Now, breathing through your nose into your chest, we will lift the head and ribs slightly when we inhale and return them as we exhale, like this. This can make you feel a little dizzy, so please stop and rest if it does. And ready to start in four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, lift the chest, chin, and exhale down. Inhale, lift, fill the ribs, exhale down. 
Inhale. Exhale. And just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Finish there and relax. Good. So now we've opened up the lungs, we will continue to breathe calmly throughout the session. Oxygen is a relaxing gas. The more we have, the more relaxed we feel. Maybe you already do. Next we'll work on relaxing your shoulders and upper spine with some gentle shoulder rolls. To make room for the shoulders to move, first try lifting your neck upwards through your crown, like this. Leaving the backs of your hands on your thighs, we will push your shoulders forwards and up to your ears, and then push them back and down to the natural position, like this. Forwards and up, back and down. With the breath, inhale, exhale. And ready to start in four, three, two, one. Push your shoulders forwards up to your ears, push them back and down. Inhale, exhale. Point them forwards, lift them up, push them back, roll them down. Inhale, exhale, and just one more. Inhale, exhale. Good, and relax your shoulders. Now we will reverse that, pushing your shoulders back and up to your ears, and then forwards and down to the natural position. This time with me, and ready to start. Four, three, two, one. Push back, lift up, push forwards, roll down. Inhale, exhale. Push back, breathe in, and forwards and down. Push back, lift up, push forwards, roll down. Just one more, inhale back, and exhale forwards. Good. Now return to the parallel position. Lift your crown and breathe. In, two, three. Out, two, three. In, two, three. Out, two, three. In, two, three. Out, two, three. Good. Next, we will practice synchronized breathing and movement. Try to cultivate a slow, long, and continuous breath. This can take time to learn, so concentrate on the movement for now if you find the breathing distracting. Now bring your hands together at your heart with your fingers pointing forwards like this. Relax your shoulders and then we will extend your arms forwards or up to the sky, opening your elbows to bring your hands back like this. Inhale forwards, exhale back. All like this. Inhale lift, exhale back. And ready to start in four three, two, one, inhale, exhale, fingers lead you forwards, elbows open to bring you back, inhale, exhale, relax the shoulders, inhale, exhale, press the palms, inhale, Exhale. Inhale, take rest if you've had enough. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We're just going to do one more. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now return to the parallel position. Lift your crown and breathe. In, two, three. Out, two, three. In, two, three. Out, two, three. In, two, three. Out, 
two, three. Good, and relax. Next we're going to rotate the arms in opposite directions as if we were wringing out a cloth, like this. So with me, start by opening your arms out wide with one palm facing up and the other down. Good. Lift your crown and then turn the arms opposite directions and then the other way. With me, rotate. Now this can be tricky, so don't worry if you find it challenging. You will learn with perseverance. Relax your shoulders and let that tension extend out to the tips of your fingers. Good, now give yourself a big hug. From this position we're going to lift your elbows, chin and chest to the sky and then roll the head and spine down towards the belly, pushing back the spine, like this. So the front lifts the back. And ready to start in four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift through the front. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, lift through the front. Exhale, spine pushes back. Inhale. Exhale. And just one more. Inhale. And roll down. Good. Now for the other side. Lifting up the crown. Open your arms out wide. And we're going to wrap around the other way. And ready to start. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift through the front. Exhale, roll down the crown. Inhale, lift. Exhale, shoulders soft. Use the elbow to lift and back. And just one more. Inhale up. Exhale back. Good. Now open your arms out wide. Return to the parallel position. Lift your crown and breathe. In, two, three. Out, two, three. In, two, three. Out, two, three, in, two, three, out, two, three. Good, and relax. Next we're going to gently open each side of the body. Take your left hand under your leg or chair and your right hand down beside you with the palm up. In a minute, we will be raising the right arm as high as is comfortable while leaning over to the left, and then bring it back, like this. Try to stay level on the seat while you move. I'm ready to start in four, three, two, one, inhale, lift and lean, exhale, come back, inhale, lift and lean, exhale, come back. Just take as far as you comfortably can, and with practice, you may get further. Exhale, come back, and just one more, take a rest if you need to, inhale, and exhale. Good. Now bring your right hand and place it either under your leg or under your seat, relaxing the shoulder. We release your left hand with the palm facing up. And this time with me. In four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come back. Inhale, lift and lean. Exhale, come back. Inhale, lift and lean. Take rest if you need to. We're just going to do two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Good. 
Bring the hand back onto your knee and both hands and return to the parallel position. Lift your crown and breathe. In, two, three, out, two, three. In, two, three, out, two, three. In, two, three, out, two, three. Good, and relax. Next, we will release the tension around your shoulders and in your arms to further increase their mobility. This looks quite tricky, but you'll get it, I'm sure, with some practice. This time with me, lift your right arm out to your side, reach the fingertips away from you, and then rotate the arm in both directions. Good. Now swing the arm across you, bringing up the left arm to act as a supporting crook with the palm faced forwards, like this. Don't worry if your arm doesn't fully straighten, simply extend it as much as is comfortable and with regular practice this will improve. Now look to your right shoulder, breathe into it and then breathe out and relax it. Again. Good, so we're softening and relaxing the shoulder from your chin, letting the weight of your entire arm drop into the supporting crook. Now you may be able to encourage the crook to move back with your arm to open the shoulder like this. Without force, only if it wants to. And continue to breathe into it, soften it as you exhale. And as it relaxes, maybe a little bit more movement to the front. Good. And we bring your head back, release the arm, and return to the parallel position. Now we need to do the same for your left shoulder. Again, with me, lift your left arm out to the side. Rotate in both directions, turn, turn, turn. Swing the arm across you, bringing up your right arm to act as a crook. The palm is forwards. Straighten the arm as much as you can and then relax it into the bent arm. This time you look to your left shoulder and breathe into it. And then breathe out and relax it. And again. Each time you exhale, completely surrender the weight of your straight arm into the bent arm. The shoulder physically dropping away. And as it softens, encourage it around towards the front by gently pulling the bent arm back. Again, no force. This is allowing if it wants to. Breathe into the shoulder. Exhale, release it. Gently draw back into the shoulder. Exhale, inhale, exhale, relax the arm, start to encourage that movement back, one more breath, good, now bring the arm back, return to the parallel position, lift your crown, breathe, in, two, three, out, two, three, in, two, three, out, two, three, in, two, three, out, two, three, good, and relax. In this next sequence, we will be engaging your core abdominal muscles, which are in the center of your body and which support good posture, mobility, balance, and stamina. Walking and exercise naturally help maintain them so we need to strengthen them when we are less active. Before we continue, we will practice using these muscles. From the parallel position, we will pull the belly button back to the spine when we exhale and relax it when we inhale, like this. Even if it feels like a tiny movement, the more you practice and connect with your abdominal muscles, the greater their response will be. 
and ready to start in four, three, two, one. Exhale, pull it back. Inhale, relax. Exhale, retract it. Inhale, relax it. Exhale, retract it. Take rest if you need to. Inhale, relax it. Two more breaths. Exhale, exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale, retract. Inhale, relax. Good. For the rest of the video, I will call this action pulling back the belly lock. The next sequence is called cat and cow. It is the simplest, most beneficial sequence you can do. Why? Because it keeps your spine and shoulders supple, increases your oxygen levels and promotes good neural transmission. If there is one thing you can do every day, I suggest it is this, two or three times if possible. Make some space behind you if that's comfortable, with your legs in the parallel position. Place your hands to your legs, palms down and relax your shoulders. We will pick up your eyes, chin and chest, creating a lift in your upper spine and then pull the belly lock back into your spine, rolling the head down, like this. From the side you can see the movement in the upper spine as the front lifts and then in the lower spine pushing back as the head comes down, like this. I'm going to do 10 of these. You do just as many as you can. And ready to start in four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift the front. Exhale, belly in. Inhale, lift the front. Exhale, belly in, roll the head down. Inhale, lift the front. Exhale, belly in, head rolls down. Inhale, lift the front, soft shoulders. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, lift the front. Exhale, back. So we're moving the spine, keep going. Moving the spine fluidly like a wave. All of those tension knots between your vertebrae are getting tweaked. Take rest if you've had enough. We're just going to do two more. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come down. Last one. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come down. Good. And return to the parallel position. Next, we will build some support and strength into your lower back to encourage a stronger, better posture. This will reduce stress on your skeleton, increase your breath capacity and help prevent lower back discomfort. Again, we will be engaging the core abdominal muscles, but this time we will try holding the belly lock back while we move and breathe. So before we continue, we will take a moment to practice this. From the middle of your chair seat, take your legs out 45 degrees with me and your knees are above your heels. Lean forwards with your hands resting on your legs and your palms down, like this. This time with me, exhale and pull the belly lock back to the spine. Try and keep it there as you continue to breathe into your chest. Good, and relax. This takes practice. So hold the belly in for as long as you feel comfortable, then relax it. You can repeat this as often as you want to. I'm going to do three more, but please rest if and when you've had enough. Exhale, bring the belly in. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, belly stays back. Inhale into the chest. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, good, and relax. Now to put that into practice, from the same position we will extend your chest forwards, pulling back the belly lock. 
then pushing down to your hands to come back up to build muscle tone in your arms. It looks like this. Notice how my lower back remains long. This is helped by lifting the chest forwards over the legs rather than lowering it towards them. And ready to start in four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift the front. Exhale, belly in, chest forwards. Push the arms down, lift back up. Exhale, forwards, belly back. Inhale, lift through the arms. Exhale, forwards. Inhale, lift. Take rest if you need to. Exhale, forwards. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forwards. Belly is back. Inhale, lift. And just one more breath. Exhale, forwards. Inhale, lift. Good. For this next sequence, we will be using our other set of core muscles, the pelvic floor muscles. So before we continue, we will practice using these muscles. Start by placing your hands on your legs as before, just above the knees is ideal. Breathe in, lift up your pelvic floor. Relax it as you breathe out. The lift is more of a squeeze, similar to when you are absolutely desperate for a wee. Inhale and squeeze, exhale, release. Two more, inhale and squeeze, exhale, release. Last one, inhale and squeeze, exhale, release. Good. For the rest of this video, I will call this action lifting the seat lock. Next, we will lift the seat lock with some gentle squats. These can be demanding, so just do as many as you can. Remaining in this position, we will slightly lift the bottom from the chair seat by lifting the seat lock, and then come back down, relaxing it, like this. And ready to start, four, three, two, one. Lift the seat lock, sit back down, relax it. Inhale, pick up from the seat. Exhale, relax back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, good. That may be enough for now, so you can either rest or continue, this time holding the position and the seat lock while we continue to breathe, like this. And down. Uh, I'm ready to start in four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift. Stay here, exhale. Inhale. And sit back down, relax. And again. Inhale, lift up from the seat lock, slightly off the seat. Exhale here, keep the seat lock in place. Inhale. And sit back down, relax. One more. Inhale, lift up from the seat, push through the feet. Exhale here. Inhale, lift the seat lock. And exhale, sit back down. Good. Now return to the parallel position. Lift your crown and breathe. In, two, three. Out, two, three. In, two, three, out, two, three, in, two, three, out, two, three. Good. So now we're going to open up the sides of the ribs. So this time with me, take your left leg out to the side as near to 90 degrees as possible with the heel underneath the knee. Now turn your shoulders back to be level with the chair, like this. Connect your index finger and thumb on your left hand and place your elbow just above your knee. Your other hand goes on your hip, rolling down your pelvis to be level. 
lift and squeeze the seat lock and then try to hold that in while we breathe. Otherwise, just focus on the breath. Now push down to the lower elbow and turn your ribs and head slightly upwards and away from your lower shoulder. Eyes are looking up. We breathe in and out of your open ribs on the right. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Keep the seat lock squeezed in if you can. And exhale. Inhale. Into the ribs. Exhale. Relax your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. And just one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now, pushing on this lower elbow, lift back and return to the parallel position. And the same now for the other side. So again, with me, take your right leg out to the side as near to 90 degrees as possible, with the heel underneath the knee. Turn your shoulders back to be level with the chair. And then, as before, we connect your index finger and thumb on the right hand placing your elbow just above your knee. Your other hand goes to the hip to keep your pelvis level. The seat lock lifts up and stays there while you breathe. Relax the lower shoulder and send the energy down to your elbow, your ribs turning up slightly with your head. Good. Inhale, fill the ribs on the right. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Inhale, bring the seat lock in. Exhale, try and keep it there. Inhale, lengthen the crown. Exhale, to the corner of the room. Inhale, and exhale. Good. Now, push on the lower elbow, lift back, and return to the parallel position. Lift your crown and breathe. In, two, three. Out, two, three. In, two, three. Out, two, three. In, two, three. Out, two, three. Good. This concludes the upper body work and the first section of the video. What you've already done is the most beneficial part. So if you are tired or feel you've had enough, then just simply take rest. Do try and practice this stage whenever you can. A few times a week is usually ideal. And as you become more supple, more able, you can always move on to the next section. If you'd like to go to the guided meditation now, then click here. If you'd like to continue, the next section will concentrate on your legs and further strengthening your core muscles. You may find these sequences slightly more demanding, so please stop and rest whenever you need to. Next, we will flex the muscles in the front and back of your legs. Bring your legs back to the parallel position with your heels under your knees. Now place your hands on your hips, relax your shoulders and lift your upper body through the crown, like this. In a moment we will be taking your right leg out in front of you, pointing out the toes and then the heel, like this. You can further enhance this by using the seat lock at the same time if you want to. This may be something to introduce at a later time. Just do as many as you can. When you are ready, with me, inhale, lift the right leg, pointing out the toes. Exhale, push out the heel. Inhale, lengthen the toes. Exhale, the heel. Try and relax your shoulders, inhale, toes, lift the crown, exhale, heel, one more, inhale, toes, exhale, heel. Good, bring the leg back down, and now we will do the same with your left. Again, with me, 
Inhale, lift the left leg, pointing out the toes. Exhale, push out the heel. Inhale, toes, relax the shoulders. Exhale, heel, lift the crown. Inhale, toes. Exhale, heel, start to point the elbows away from you. Inhale, toes. Exhale, heel, one more. Inhale, toes. Exhale, heel. Good, and bring the leg back down. Now we'll open out the backs of your legs. So move forwards to the front of your seat in the parallel position. Now, with me, lift and extend out your right leg through the heel until the leg is as straight as is comfortable. We then place the heel on the floor. We put both your hands on the other knee like this. Now the leg is straight, you can relax it. Good. We will lengthen your chest over the straight leg and then pushing down to your hands, we will come back like this. And ready to start. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forwards. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forwards. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forwards. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forwards. So we come back up. Now you can continue with these, have a rest, or move on. Now we will hold the forward position for a few breaths. With me, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, take it forwards and stay here. Inhale. Exhale. Try squeezing the seat lock while you are here. Exhale. Inhale. Lift the chest over the leg. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now pushing on the hands, we come back up to the parallel position. And we do the same on the other side. Again with me, lift and extend out your left leg this time through the heel until the leg is as straight as is comfortable. Before placing your heel on the floor and putting both hands on your other knee. Now the leg is straight, you can relax it. Good. As before, we will lengthen the chest over the legs and then push down on the hands to come up. Ready to start in four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale forwards. Inhale, lift, try bringing this seat lock, exhale forwards. Inhale, lift. Exhale forwards, use the push down on the hands to bring you back. Exhale forwards, and we come back. So now we will hold the forward position for a few breaths. With me, inhale, lift. Exhale forwards, we stay here. Inhale to the chest. Exhale. Try and engage the seat lock while you're here. Inhale, extend. Exhale, and now pushing on the hands, inhale and come back up to the parallel position. Good. From here then lift your crown, breathe. In, two, three, out, two, three. In, two, three, out, two, three. In, two, three, out, two, three. Good. The next sequence is designed to further strengthen and develop your core muscles. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of maintaining these muscles so they can continue to support you now and in your future. This sequence may be quite demanding and it progresses through three stages. So do please try some of them, even if you choose a simpler sequence and progress to the more challenging one at a later time. So sit back against your chair with your legs in the parallel position. Firstly, we will reconnect with your core muscles. 
As you inhale, lift your seat lock. And as you exhale, relax that and pull the belly lock back to your spine. Inhale, seat lock. Exhale, belly lock. Inhale, seat lock. Exhale, belly lock. Inhale, seat lock. Exhale, belly lock. And think of the seat lock lifting up beyond your crown. Exhale, belly lock. Inhale, seat lock. Exhale, belly lock. Good, and relax. Now we can combine that with some gentle movement. There is a lot to think about here, so just do what you comfortably can. If you're using the locks as too distracting, don't worry about them. Just practice the movement and breathing. You can always introduce the locks in the future as you become more familiar with the sequence. Firstly, one leg at a time. From the parallel position, place both your hands under the side of your chair or legs. When we breathe, we can lift the seat lock as we extend your right leg out in front of you. As we exhale, we can bring back the belly lock as the leg comes down, like this. And ready to start in four, three, two, one. Inhale, right leg forwards. Exhale, return. Inhale, seat lock. Exhale, belly lock. Inhale, seat lock. Exhale, belly lock. One more. Inhale, seat lock. Exhale, belly lock. Bring the leg back and relax. Good. As usual, we now need to do the other side. So when we breathe in, we can lift the seat lock as you extend your left leg in front of you, returning it as we exhale. With me, inhale, lengthen the left leg forwards, exhale, bring it back. Seat lock, extend, exhale, belly lock. Inhale, seat lock, exhale, belly lock. And one more, inhale, seat lock, exhale, belly lock. Good, and relax. The second stage is to bring both legs together, pressing in the knees and ankles, with both hands remaining as they are. So in a moment when we breathe, we will extend both legs in front of you, and as we exhale, we will bring them back down. I'm ready to start. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, point the toes forwards. Exhale, return. Good. Inhale, seat lock. Exhale, belly lock. Inhale, seat lock. Exhale, belly lock. Inhale, seat lock. Exhale, belly lock. Good. And relax. You can continue with this, have a rest, or now include both arms. As before, the legs are together, knees and ankles pressing in. The arms now release down beside you, and this time with me. Inhaling, lifting arms, legs, and maybe seat lock. Exhale, bring everything back down, and try and bring the belly lock in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, return. Inhale, seat lock. Exhale, belly lock. Inhale, seat lock. Exhale, belly lock. And one more. Inhale, seat lock. Exhale, belly lock. Good, and relax. So now we will open and flex your hands. Clasping them together, we turn them inside out so your palms are facing forwards. When we breathe, we can either push the palms out in front of you like this, or toward the sky like this. Opening the elbows to bring the hands back. Try to relax your shoulders throughout the movement. And ready to start. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, push forwards. Exhale, come back. 
Inhale, push forwards or up. Exhale, come back. Inhale, push forwards. Exhale, come back. Soften the shoulders. Inhale, come forwards. Open your elbows to come back. And one more. Inhale. Exhale back. Good. Now unclasp and roll your hands around each other with me. Good. And then change direction. Good. And bring the hands back. Palms just sitting on your thighs. So this is the last one before we can relax. Well done. The cat and cow. So we're going to finish with this because it's a nice, relaxing movement to end with. So as before, make some space behind you, if that's comfortable, with your legs in the parallel position. Your hands are on your legs, palms down, and your shoulders relaxed. So with me, pick up your eyes, chin and chest, creating a lift in the upper spine, and roll your head down towards your belly button. Inhale, pick up. Exhale, come back. Inhale, lift. Exhale. We can bring in the locks if you want to, the seat lock as we inhale, and the belly lock pulling back as we exhale. Inhale, lift. Slow down the breath. Slow down the movement. Exhale. Inhale. Good. And we come back up to sitting. Sit back and make yourself comfortable in your chair. Having your hands turned up will allow your shoulders to relax properly. So we will finish the session with a five minute guided meditation designed to relax your whole body and mind and let the energy we have created settle down. Observe your breath, feel it entering your nose, filling your chest, exhale, release the breath. Try counting to balance the length of each breath. In is peaceful, that is calming, soothing, relaxing. Imagine it colouring the air around you. Chest fill with color. Now release the color from your chest into the rest of your body. Imagine your whole body is breathing. Every 
every part of you is radiating colour, so strong and bright, it cannot be contained. Exhale and release the colour into the air around you until it forms a shell, growing brighter and brighter with every breath. Stay here for as long as you want to. When you are ready to return to your day, simply open 